There we go. We're rolling. All right. What we're doing is we're installing the last of the 2010 Sayre Grant nukes in our nuke yard here in Westbrook, Maine. And uh, these are overwintered nukes raised here in Maine with uh, northern raised queens. And so we're going to do a real quick install. We brought them here last night at dusk and set them here in the spot where they're going to go. And now uh, and they've been flying all day. So now I'm just going to move them over to the side. And I'm going to put their new hive where it belongs. Got my hive stand. Got my screen bottom board. Insert in. That will keep them uh, a little bit warmer, but more importantly, it will keep their smells in. We'll keep all the good, happy hive scents. This is old 61 here. This is the old 61A. Eh? Oh, excellent. So I've set my hive box here, and now I'm just going to open up my nuke. I just smoked them a little bit a minute ago, as I think we saw. Take my trusty inner cover off. Homo soap. Gotta love it. Some beautiful lark bees. And then just walk right up. Got my five frame nuke. And the five frames. Often the nukes are pretty tight. Got quite a bit of bees in here. Also, they've been they've had all winter to propolize everything together, make it all snug and sticky. Which is how they like it. And so we've inspected for the queens already before they were delivered to us. But we'll just take a real quick look and see if we see her. Big frame of pollen. <laughs> Big giant frame of pollen, all different colors. On the back side is honey and pollen. And so, we've got plenty of food here. Pollen is what they need to rear brood. And brood is what they need to make more bees. And more bees is what they need to draw out their honeycomb. And drawing out their honeycomb is what they need to make honey. So, pollen equals honey over the long term. Now we've got a little queen cell here started, which is Oh, look, there's even an egg in there. Ha <laughs> ha, not anymore. That's not atypical. They're strong and feeling like they want to reproduce. Also probably feeling pretty crowded in this box. So I'm going to try to talk them into not swarming. And rather, I'm going to convince them that they're going to move into this nice big ginormous house. And so why don't we just all stay with Team A. Giant frame of cat brood. Excellent looking brood. We have a little uh, bump right here in the middle. That is drone brood. Totally normal. Everything looks fine. A little bit of drone brood here. Totally other side. All cat brood again. Lots and lots of dark healthy bees. Very calm on the comb too. Yeah, they are sweet. And oh, I see our queenie. She has what I like to refer to as a party dot which means that I use two colors marking her. Oh, well, maybe she doesn't have a party dot. It looked like it for a minute. She's straight green. So there's our queen right here walking on a big frame of brood. Lots of bees. And again, this is almost all cat brood. Right up pretty close to the corners of the frame. We've got a little bit of pollen and nectar in the corners of the frame, but they're going to be very excited. And when that cat brood emerges, there's going to be a lot of empty cells for the queen to lay more eggs in. And there's also going to be a lot more bees in the hive. And so here's our final frame, which looks like nectar and nectar and pollen. So they've got tons of food in here, particularly pollen. And then again, we're going to feed them. So feed them a feeder bucket of sugar water, one to one, to help them draw comb. So I'm going to put the remaining five frames into the hive. I'm going to snuggle them right in. What was the, the diff What was the difference between an overwintered nuke and a nuke that you might buy in the spring? An overwintered nuke is a colony that is made with a queen that is started with a queen and some brood. It's generally started with a queen and some brood that isn't hers, obviously, because if she's a baby queen, she hasn't reared brood yet. But that happened last summer. And so this is a colony of her daughters, and they have lived together in this box, her, this colony, 
uh, has essentially been raised as a single unit. And so um, they, I just saw something really amazing. And so I'm gonna stop our videotape about that and talk about the fact that I've got a dead queen down here in this box, despite the fact that I just saw our other queen. Oh no, it's not a dead queen. She just looked long like a queen. Never mind. I got all excited. From upside down, she looked like a queen, but right side up, she's just a worker. Sorry. Wah wah. So anyway, back to my diatribe about the overwintered nuke. So the overwintered nuke is a queen and her daughters, and the brood is all there related to them. Everybody in here is related. The drones are their little brothers. The cat brood is their little sisters. And, uh, and the proportions of the hive are natural to what they had planned. So unlike taking five frames of, of brood from different colonies or even from the same colony and putting an unrelated queen, maybe a couple of extra shakes of bees out of another hive, these guys did this all on their own. And so they're, doing, they're singing their own song uh, and they're ready to do it. And that's the big difference with an overwintered nuke. The other big difference is that these bees were raised in Maine from bees that had survived winters in Maine. So these are not California or Australia or, Cal or Florida or Georgia packages. If you take a package of northern raised bees and you add a queen from away, 45 days later all her daughters are from away. And so if you take a package from the south and you replace the queen with a queen from the north 45 days later that those bees will be from the north and that's the other part of our project so here's the install I'm gonna throw my inner cover on that was me getting the bees into the hive scoochie everybody out of the way toss my inner cover on I'm gonna find myself a pair of fancy sticks right here on the ground to support my feeder pail. I put the, feeder, the sticks to raise up the feeder pail so the bees can snuggle right down underneath and around it. Get right up on that screen. I turned it over aside from the hive so I didn't pour syrup all over them. I'm going to just separate my sticks here to get a good little lift. They can snuggle in and out. Throw my second hive body right on now. To protect that feeder pail, I'm going to throw a little piece of tape left over from our nuke moving to cover up that hole so they don't have to defend an extra entrance up there next to their feeder. On goes their cover. And that is the installation of a nucleus colony in a nutshell. Ta-da!